Hey, what's up guys? My name's Tyler, also known as Genetic Spartan. For this tutorial, I'm gonna give you a couple tips on working with sprites inside of After Effects, such as working with animated sprites, as well as being able to scale up sprites while keeping that crisp, pixelized edge. Okay, so first off, I'm gonna import my animated sprite. So I'm gonna go to File, and then Import, and File. And what I did is I took each frame of the animation and I put each one in its own PNG file. And then I added this numbering system so that After Effects will know in which order and what images will be used as the PNG sequence. So I'm going to select the first frame. I'm going to make sure PNG sequence is checked. And then I'm going to click open. And it's going to import our images as a PNG sequence. Now I'm going to make a new composition. Make it 720p, uh, about 10 seconds. And now I'm gonna take my PNG sequence and drag it into my composition. And you can see here, it joined all of our images into one loop of animation. But if you want multiple loops, what you gotta do is right click the PNG sequence up in the project and then go to interpret footage and main. And then you come down here to loop times and I'm gonna set that to 10 and that will loop the animation 10 times. So I'll press enter. And now you can drag the end of the layer to the end and it will loop the animation 10 times before stopping. And right now it's playing each frame of the animation for every frame of the composition. So that might be a little too fast. So what you can do is you can right click the layer and then go to time and then time stretch. And right here for the stretch factor, it's set to 100, which is basically 100%. So that's normal speed. But I'm gonna set it to 200 and that'll stretch it twice as much. So now our animation is gonna play twice as slower. And that looks pretty good. And now if you wanna scale your sprite while keeping that crisp pixelized type edges, we're gonna go ahead and scale the sprite up by clicking and dragging and holding shift. And you can see that it's interpolating the pixels so it's giving that blurry look. What you can do is right click the layer and then go to quality and select draft. And that'll keep it from interpolating the pixels. But what's important is when you want to finally go to render, you'll have to click the render settings and go to quality and then change that to current settings and that'll render each layer as the quality setting for that individual layer. So since we set that sprite layer to draft, it's going to render that layer as draft. Well, that's basically it for this tutorial. Just a couple tips on working with sprites inside of After Effects. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial. My name is Tyler for communitygamer.com, and I'll see you guys later.